Um, I'm gonna get right up close and personal, like around there. Yeah, you can get up close and personal, but you will also be surrounded by the pools of acid that formed as he came up out of the ground and have a dragon next to oh. you. Oh. Uchi. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna make some stabs. I'm gonna roll both my attacks at once, because I can. Uh, roll the stab. Okay, I'm gonna use my inspiration on one of them. Okay. Nice. Much better. Okay. Uh, move that. Okay. Does an eleven hit? No. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but I have a twenty-four on the other one. Yep. Okay. So, for damage. That's gonna be um, eleven piercing damage and six radiant damage. All right, so those both attacks, <clears throat> one hit, one missed. Was there a smite on the last one? Yes. Yeah, so you jump in there, rapier aloft. You dance in there, take a jab. The first one glances off his scales, and then you find another spot that's on the soft underside of the armpit and strike. So you strike true, and the dragon lets out this... Ah! noise and how is Noelia doing? Is she okay? Um, so if she hadn't succeeded on that um, save, she would have um, gone down to Seagull Digit, so she's gonna come back over here to hide. Alright, yeah, Noelia ducks back under the bushes yeah, and then uh, runs off into the tree lines to hide. That is 14? Uh, 14 on hiding. Let me check his stats. Yeah, she hides from his passive perception. Yeah, he's busy right now. Yeah, he's he's pretty busy. He's got a paladin running around stabbing him, a drow shooting fireballs at him. What's Nualia doing? Okay, so um, and then that was that was her bonus action. So for her action, she's gonna make a shot. Yeah, go for it. With her bow. Pew. Please hit, please hit. No, don't fall off the table, please hit. Okay, uh... 22. Yeah, that should hit. Okay, so she's gonna use her sneak attack with that. Yeah, roll it. Roll a device. Cause... Like, even if she didn't have advantage, it's like, there's Chianthi and Luna. So that's gonna be... Uh, six piercing damage from the, um, from the normal arrow, and then... Ooh, she rolled really well here. Uh, that's... 15 um, more damage. Yeah, alright, yeah. So while Nualia is perched up in one of the trees, she pulls her arrow taut and waits for her opportune moment in between Kayanthi and Luna. And then she releases. You hear a f and the arrow goes and impacts into one of the cracks between his chest plates. Next up is Christian cool, with right, Aragorn. So Aragorn's over there, kind of not looking too cute. Yeah, our druid boy has been a bit roughed up. He's All been right, so, so kind. Sorry, it's for the enemies, it's just the dragon, right? So far. Don't say so far, it's just the dragon, okay? No more. <laughs> no more, young lady. Enough. Made from the dragon. <laughs> what enough of your shenanigans? <laughs> Uh, That's enough of your anyway. shenanigans. Too much shenanigans. All right. Anyway, so Aravan, um, well, first before I start, does he have a favorite animal? Hmm. Uh, it's probably a cat. His cats? Okay. Cool. Yeah, he seems like a All cat right. person to Good. me. Um. Okay then. All right. So, so he'd probably be familiar with like a puma. Let's let's do pumas because those are cool. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have a. He's gonna get to his feet, and he's going to use Wild Shape to use a Circle of Spores ability to create the Halo of Spores. So now he has more HP. Yay. Hey. hey. He was dead single digits. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Alright, there we go. And then whenever someone comes close to him, they'll deal damage automatically, I believe. Yeah, that, that's pretty close. If someone comes within me melee range of him, then they have to make a save. And if they fail, then he can do damage. And then... He's going to, um, you know, we're going to help Kayanthi, obviously. 
Um, he is going to, you know, just... What's his focus? He's a stick? Kelly? It's his staff that he has. Alright, great. So anyway, so he's like, you know, he's on, he's now he's like, spored up, you know, all this, this arrow of nastiness all floating around him, looking cool. Um, he's gonna go ahead and just use his, uh, he's going to go ahead and summon around Kaonthi. Um, this, this, like, light-colored, uh, ghost of, like, a puma. And it's a, it's a healing spirit. So Kaonthi will heal HP. Right hey. there. Yeah, so there's a puma prowling around behind her, and anyone in the five, um, five block area where she is will also get a healing too. Just let me know if you ever cross paths with it. And you said within five feet of it? Yeah, so it's basically on Kaonthi, so she gets a healing. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Alright, and that's, that's his turn. Let me figure out how nice. much I heal. Does anyone know offhand what dice she rolls? Uh, let's see. I think it's 2d6. I'm not sure. I... I think it's 1d6. It's a level 2 spell. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Must have upcast it with Yeah, it's, one, it's 1d6. But a person gets 1d6 every time they get into the creature, into the spirit space. And I can move the spirit when I want to. Alright, there we go. Some more HP for my not girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, Airvan. Okay. Is that all he can do? Yeah, that should be. That was a bonus action and an action. Okay. Okay, next up is Serena right. playing Deirdre. And Lady I'm just Brady. getting acquainted with how many spell slots she has because she has many. Yes. I was sitting there, I'm like, oh, those can't be right. Looks at the wizard D&D 5e. Those are absolutely right. Oh my god, I understood this correctly. Wow, wizards have a lot of cool spells. I love this. Okay. Wizards are crazy. Oh, great. Love it. Okay. Um... You sure are. I think wizards have to naturally, they have to cast mage armor, right? Because otherwise yeah. they're squishy, squishy boys. I mean, yeah, ideally. Okay. All right. So the rough terrain will not impede her ability to cast spells at a distance, right? Nope. Okay. Banging. So I'm going to go ahead and just have her cast mage armor. All right. Yeah. There it goes up. Yes. Cool. And I'll mark that off of level. So first, second. Sorry, I have to create a system where I can track how many spells I use. Mm -hmm. And I had to subtract some uh, one of my spells from last week because I believe I used Magic Missile during the battle, so mm -hmm. I cut that off just in case, yeah. Alright, so she just used this. Good love. Well, that was a first level spell, right? It's a first level. Mage Armor is- whoa, that's both levels. Okay. Cool beans. Alright, so she casts Mage Armor on herself and prepares for whatever KR is going to bring their way, potentially. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Um, I'm thinking she probably may... S I would probably have her mo stay in that direction, or... So do you want to move her? I'm going to put her over here. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, so probably over that little divider, the, the rough terrain. So, like, yeah. Although maybe scoot a little bit to the right, because I think that was diagonal move. So yeah, there. <laughs> it may only be five feet, but it's five feet away from the one who's calling the action. Like, I'm going to be close enough, just not super close. Wait, um, Campy got a nine on initiative. Where do I Whoops, oh, yeah, sorry. sorry about that. It's actually Kayanthi's turn, so let's just pause and then have you go. Oh, cool, okay. Uh, maybe just um, so I have a quick question. Um, if I already use a key point to use Step of the Wind, does that count as an action? Nope. Step of the nope. Wind is a bonus action. No. Yeah, it's a bonus action. So you can use it That's to bonus. dash or disengage. Oh, okay. uh, that changes my plan, but not that bad. Alright, yeah. Alright, so let's, we're gonna use a key point, Step of the Wind, to get out of range of old, of the old Baron. 
opportunity to attack. Which one is um, Tarina, the one on the right or the left of the dragon? Uh, I believe she is on the left. Okay. Yeah, because I was able to see her, I think. You were able to see that, okay. Alright, so is my, is my dad like, disengaged? No, leave me! Ah! Sorry, my cat is attacking me for a He second. loves you. I love. I saw his fat paw going, Maw! <laughs> <laughs> I know that he always does that. Boy does not have paws. That boy has hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true swatting feature. <laughs> God. Right, deflect sorry. missile. He said deflect missile. Did you see it? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Right. I don't remember how much damage. Mm -hmm. Protect the boy toy. Okay, move to Aravan. Um. And then from there, she's gonna whip herself around. You know. Cure wounds. I only have healing word, technically. Oh. If you want, you can use your action to disengage and then bonus action healing word. Okay. Just, then you get to just save your key points. Do monks later. still have to try to disengage, or at some level, don't they negate the attack of opportunity? What level um, does that? no longer become an issue. No, it's still the um, step of the wind. Everybody has a disengage, but they have to use an action to do so. Oh. It's monks that can use step of the wind, so bonus action they can disengage, or rogues, bonus action disengage. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, Good to know. Be special. Be special. I was like, I know that they're like, bendy flirty people. They're like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Duh! I'm gonna yeet myself over here. Okay, oh, you don't right. need to yeet so me, I'll yeet myself. Away. I'm already by Aravan, and then Kaofi is going to, let's see here, which one sounds more fun. Um, so we're gonna use Toll the Dead. Hey! hey. Toll the dead. Is he injured? Yep. Yes. Yes, right. just a little, so just, 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 just a little bit. Damage. Okay, 12 points of damage in total. All right, can you tell me what type of damage that is giving? It is necrotic. Okay, good to know, good to know. Got mom damage. <laughs> Got mom damage, yes. Is that one of the ones where you, they can't heal until the start of their next turn or something? That's, that's a different spell. Okay. Uh, that's extra damage yeah, one. that's chilling touch. Nice. You know. Does that conclude your turn? Yes, that should be it now. All right, now it is Ellie's turn. Yay, okay. Um, so I think if I move five feet, I'll be able to get the healing from the healing spirit, right? If I'm yes. just like within five yeah, feet of it, okay. The center where Campy was. Yeah, so I'm just gonna move forward just like a little bit, pet the puma, and like, thanks, Aravan. And, um, and then I see, um, this might be a dumb move, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I see Tarina in the crystal, and I'm like, there's there's Tarina, we've gotta save her. And I'm going to thorn whip the crystal. Okay. And Don't the thorn whip, me. the thorn whip can, um, if I hit, can pull okay. 10 feet closer. Strength check. And then I guess I do damage to the crystal, or Tarina, I don't know. Make a strength check. A strength check. Mm hmm. Yes. Night. Pulling a large object out of the ground. Was it rooted to like the ground? Yes. When Evelio's uprooted the ground, it, these came up with it. And Can so I add my spell modifier or is it just my strength? Mm -hmm. My pure strength? I think this is gonna be pure strength because you're not coercing the magic in any way. It's just you. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, that is a 18. Yeah, I would say an 18 would do it. I mean, you don't even hit Luna, who's in the middle of all of that. So flies what? right past my face. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Luna duck! <laughs> but yeah, you see it soar past your face, Luna, and then it goes past you and curls around the crystal, and you can turn and see Ellie just sort of heave as she puts her whole weight behind the motion. Nice. Okay. Get over here! Yeah, and as you're pulling, you can see 
uh, Tarina the Banshee inside the crystal, just swirling around excitedly. Mm -hmm. You want me to roll damage to the crystal, or...? Um, yeah, sure. Roll damage for okay. it. I just, just want to make sure... Uh, not much. It's four points of damage. Points. Yeah, and as you do that, the thorns scratch against the crystal face of the, the crystal and make the shrieking noise, and as you damage it, it pulsates down the, the matrix of crystal tree dragon. Um... Oh, Kristen, can you do me a favor and roll HP for the healing spirit? I think it's 1d6. Makes sense that you roll it. How much? One. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Bonus action. I am going to heal Aravan. I'm sure our Puma uh, boy will uh, appreciate uh, that. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see how much I heal. Oh, okay. Oh, not, not great, but... Aravan get... Because I think Aravan is the one that's single digits. Anybody else looking really low? Uh, I'm good. So Aravan has a um, five... Aravan's low single digits, but also 20 temp HP from the Spore ship. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Nice. So wow. we're technically at 25, so he, he can... He, if he needs oh, okay. to more... Okay. Not uh, well, only 15, but... Okay. Uh, I'm... It's pretty dope. But I'm not sure if I would be able to heal Noah because she's hiding. Yeah, that's true. I would be able true. to see her. Um... I'm sending vibes wherever you are! Hopefully you catch them! <laughs> like a YouTuber. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna heal Theron. Yeah... He kind of ooched. Yeah, he kind of ooched. He ooched himself. Okay, so ooched. Six points to him. All right, he's 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 not looking half bad. Okay, and then I I rolled for my bears. bears. My bears just ran up to, just be lined up straight to the dragon and started just mauling. Yeah. Um, bears. Nice. What's what? the bear song again? Bears uh, are I believe they have like. 40 feet. I don't see them on the map. That's because your bears are all the way down here from oh, your previous fight. Okay. That, uh... Could they have been next to, El oh. like, followed Ellie up there, narratively speaking? Mm, yeah, I'd say it does make sense, but if the bears are going to be with you, then they need to make con saves for that initial breath weapon attack. Okay. Um, Additionally, they could also just theoretically Here, it, it would make sense that they're close to me um i'll have i'll roll um con saves on my next turn just uh, the bears are here <laughs> and uh one rolled um one rolled a 14 does that hit or no yep okay one did roll a natural 20 okay they each get two attacks Someone got a natural 20, and I rolled the damage. It's 24 points of damage. Good job, Bear. So proud. One rolled a 19 and did 12 points of damage. And, um... I roll... roll... Con saves on... Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll roll con saves for um, for the bears, and I'll also roll a constitution check for myself. Because I forgot to do that. Um, oh, that's not too bad. How, but, let's see. How constitutive are these bears? Oh, they're pretty constitutive. Uh, 14 and 16 for these bears. Uh... Oh, the one over here is um, has plus five because of me. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 plus five. Oh, yeah, that's actually really good. So that will be a nineteen for the first one, and then a sixteen. Okay, so the nineteen saves, but the sixteen does not. So he takes half damage for the save. It's a good thing these things are beefy. Okay, so 23 and half of 23. Okay. Yep. Okay. 
and then I'll roll a con check for myself to see if I keep the bears. I think I saved, so I think I have to make a 10 con check. Yeah, sounds good to me. Gosh, I'm so nervous. Mm -hmm. nope. You got this. I, you don't I, have to. I do not. Yeah. Ugh, that is a real big shame. Uh, yep, that... I keep looking at these numbers hoping that they'd be bigger, but it's not going to change. I rolled a four. Mm. Natural three on the die, so those bears disappear. Yeah, the wind in your sails is definitely going to go out with a with a four, so the bears unfortunately dissipate. Big shame. Not much I can do during this battle. Do you move? I am going to run behind that pink tree. The rest, the rest of my movement. <laughs> yeah, so with your bears out of the picture, you uh, pick up your skirts and dash over to Willow? the pink tree to... Ah, oh, man, to I was so excited for that area. that crit hit. Oh, well. Hello, this is Tiffany, your GM for Dungeon Damsels. We update on Wednesdays and Saturdays now at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We have merchandise on our Red Bubble and on links via the link tree. We also have coffee and a Patreon if you wish to donate to us. Please like, subscribe, and comment as we would love to hear from you. Uh, you can also find us on basically every podcast platform out there if you can't sit down and listen to a YouTube video. And if you're wondering why we don't stream, it's because my internet can't support it. But uh, regardless, thank you for listening and watching. And remember to be kind, inclusive, and loving 